Diabetes is a chronic illness that affects approximately 30.3 million people or 9.4% of the U.S. population and is associated with increased morbidity, mortality, and health care costs. In terms of medication, insulin therapy is an essential component for the management of individuals with type 1 diabetes. Due to the progressive nature of the disease, many type 2 diabetic patients may require insulin. Several insulins with different pharmaceutical profiles are approved in the U.S., such as the ultra-rapid acting insulin, rapid acting insulin, regular or short um, acting insulin. There's also intermediate acting insulin, long acting insulin, and ultra long acting insulin. However, many eligible patients do not use insulin, and the increasing cost is one of the barriers that limits patients across the U.S. to this drug. It is imperative to have alternatives that confer the advantages of similar efficiencies at a lower cost due to the high prevalence of diabetes. The development of follow-on or bisimilar insulin has been introduced to drive down insulin costs with the potential to increase its accessibility among patients with diabetes. So good news for the consumer. An initiative launched by Governor Galvin Newsom partnered with a nonprofit manufacturer, Civica RX, to produce affordable by similar insulin. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Stick with me, I'm going to jump into more details about this. But first, I want to give a shout out to Marty and Maura, Laura and Susan, who sent in either PayPal donations or bought me cups of coffee. You are God's angels. Thank you very much for your support. And if you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. So you can jump over there and watch my videos for free or or do a donation. Thank you again. God bless you all. The first product is a long-acting insulin glargin in a pre-filled tense interchangeable with Melantis. It will launch on January 1st of next year at a suggested retail price of no more than $55 for a five-pack pen or pens. The cost would be about $11 per pen. That's still a lot of money. Pharmacies can purchase the five packs for $45. Their markup would be, would be relatively low. This is significantly lower than many current market prices for similar products, which can exceed $300 to $500 without discounts. The Cal RX Biosimilar Insulin Long acting interchangeable with Lantis is typically injected once a day. So if you got to have one shot per day for a month, yeah, that is very expensive. Um, thank God that hopefully people can get this new bi biosimilar um, injection. This biosimilar insulin is designed to provide steady blood sugar control over about 24 hours. Most people take it once a day at the same time every day. You can choose any time, like bedtime or morning, as long as it's consistent. It is administered under the skin using the pre-filled pen, usually in the abdomen, the thigh, or upper arm. And they rotate the injection sites to avoid irritation. In some rare exceptions, very high doses or if it or if the effect wears off early. A doctor might split it into two twice-daily injections, but that is not common and requires medical supervision. The exact dose and schedule are personalized by your doctor based on your blood sugar levels, diabetes types, weight, and other factors. Since it's biosimilar to Lantus, it has the same administration guidelines. This new plan aims to improve access to the millions of Americans who rely on insulin, especially those with adequate insurance or facing high out-of-pocket costs. 
It is part of California's broader effort to disrupt high drug prices through the CalRx label, following similar moves with Naloxone. Now, Naloxone is a fast-acting medication used to temporarily reverse the effects of opiate overdose. They also evidently have plans in the future to expand the rapid-acting insulin-type products in the future. There has been recent coverage about this biosimilar insulin um, and the rollout. It had been delayed from earlier targets, and it marks a major step in making insulin more affordable for U.S. citizens, especially there in California, without relying on coupons or rebates. Availability will be through California pharmacies, and no new prescriptions would be needed for substitutions. $55 for five shots is definitely cheaper than, say, three to $500 for five shots. Hopefully, it'll save lives where people don't have to skip their injections or not take it at all. If you're lucky enough to be an insured customer, your out-of-pocket cost could be as low as zero, depending on your plan's coverage. While well, we know that insurance coverage is skyrocketing. And many people have co-pays. They can't even afford that. Additionally, a separate California law caps insulin copay at $35 for a 30-day supply for the uh, insured plans. So pharmacies purchase the five packs for $45, and they're supposed to sell it for $55, making you know a low profit. I suppose it would depend on how greedy the pharmacy is. I often say that uh, pennies are still pennies from heaven. So this is good news for those in California. Hopefully other states will follow suit. Hopefully sometime in the future. For now, California remains the first and only state to contract and to launch state-labeled biosimilar insulin. The Civica RX product will be priced similarly and will be available nationwide starting in January of this coming year. Some states like Michigan, Illinois, New York have explored legislation for public insulin manufacturing or partnerships, but none have um, advanced to production or sales as of right now making this video. Many states, over 25 plus D.C., have passed low caps insulin copays, typically for 25 to 100 dollars for a 30-day supply for certain insured residents focusing out on out-of-pocket costs rather than manufacturing so if you're in one of the other states and do need to use insulin what has your experience been and have you heard about this something for people to look into more i suppose so what are your thoughts put your comments down below Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all.